All right. Recording? Yep. You press record? Yep. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Neil and Mike going places and doing stuff with Mike and Neil. I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Neil. Today's episode, we have a jam-packed episode. Backed. Sketches featuring Ben Hoffman, Alicia Hush, Carly Montag. Rap we, video. A rap, we got a rap video. We have a PSA featuring Jeff Vasquez. A sketch. You said sketch? I think I said sketch. Sketch is? I think it's one. Is it one? Well, there's... Okay. This is uh, just putting together every time they call out for the lead character in the Maze Runner. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why this tickles me so much. This is like my favorite thing I've ever done. It's not great. <laughs> Thomas. 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 This was not my idea. This was Ryan Brooks' idea. Ryan Brooks got to be one of the funniest people I know. Yeah, Ryan's good. Ryan's funny. And we were watching... <laughs> we were watching our very good friend John Ziegler. This is a, a great... He's an unbelievable comedian. He's a New York guy. We see him a lot. We were watching his set, and we noticed... <laughs> he uses numbers a lot. A lot of dollar amounts. So Ryan, in between shows, ran home to get his camera for this. Oh, you didn't even shoot it? Okay, that's... <laughs> he came back, shot it, <laughs> and gave the footage to me to edit. Uh, please enjoy. And know that he enjoys. And, know that he also he's enjoys. he's a good comic. We like Ziegler a lot. <laughs> we wouldn't have done this to a guy we didn't like. Yeah, this, good, is, this is a good guy. Good guy. Good has never harassed anybody. And he's funny too, which is nice. It's nice to see. And he's approved this. This is hardworking guy. So, but this, you'll enjoy this. This is great. I made a lot of money. Ten cents, thirty-five cents. Me a dollar. Dollar ninety-nine. Three dollars. Three dollars. Five bucks. Seven dollars. Fifteen dollars. Like Seventeen fifty. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Thirty-one dollars. Forty dollars. Forty bucks. You go. Fifty dollars. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Two, three hundred dollars. One point three million dollars. I'm a little frugal. Jewish. 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 By twelve, you get two free. This sketch, this next sketch, is my favorite sketch we've ever done. I think Best this, one we've done. I think this is the first one we recorded together. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know about that. But, Neil and I were driving home from the city one night, and we discussed this idea. And it, we were, like, I, I, I couldn't stop laughing. So I recorded our conversation, listened back to it, and then we wrote the sketch. Enjoy the heist. It's a, it's a true story about two idiots. Yeah. No, that's not. But yeah. No, you don't. But he's a, yeah, you could just. I'm just going to edit it after heist. you're yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to use this, though. Now probably. I'm going to yeah. use this. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, it was like a switch. I knew, like, as it was happening, I'm like, he's going to use this. Now gonna, I'm, I'm going to be tagged in the was Yeah, there was like, there was a period where we were going to yeah, use yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. Then, like, <laughs> Yeah, in an hour and a half, you'll see this this exact moment right now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think we should do an, another heist pitch, another heist sell. I don't know. You want to do one? Okay. This is my favorite sketch that we've ever done. Best one. I think it was our first one. First one. All right, so we just, we just bust in, right? And I'm like, everybody on the ground, this is a robbery. Like that? Yeah, don't say robbery. Don't say robbery. Okay, so I just... So we just, we just busted, and I'm like, everybody on the ground, this is a heist! No. You don't have to say any of those words. They know it's a robbery. 
So just everybody on the ground and that's it? That's it. Okay. Uh, everybody on the ground and that's it. Okay, fine. You pick a code name? I did. I'm gonna be Calcagno. It, it has to be like Snake or Scorpion, something cool. Calcagno is cool. Yeah, but it's your name, man. In Italian, it's Calcagno. It's still your name. You need to pick a code name, a fake name. All right, I'll be Cobra. Gee, thank you. Cobra, let's go. This next sketch segment. I don't know what it is. This next bit, piece, joke, video. This next thing is uh, where I learned uh, Mike Calcagno can rap. I've been a rapper since middle school, actually. Have you? Yeah. yeah. I used to rap so well. It's just, I'm not making this up. I beat a guy so bad in a rap battle, they made him sit on the other side of the cafeteria by himself for the rest of the like, week or whatever it was. I'm not making that up. I'll call, I'll, I'll call someone right now. No, you don't have to. No? No. <laughs> She's not going to answer because... Nobody answers their phone. Hello? What is this? Hello? Okay. I was, I did it in middle school. I believe you. <laughs> Everyone believed you. So enjoy Saran Wrap. Also, I've always been anti Saran Wrap. I don't know. I get it. I get. I get it. I get. I get. Because I do feel like you can put something in the fridge without saran wrap, and it's it's okay the next day. It's when you start entering, you know, days, right? Also, what I've been doing is I'll leave the food like on the plate and just put the whole plate in a ziploc bag and and seal it shut and put it in the fridge. Because I'm not stretching out saran wrap, cutting it. Like my fault. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I put it in the whole. You know what I mean? Like. I'll put like, um, if I have like, uh, I have like a ceramic thing that I make food in, I bake in the oven. If I'm done eating that, I'll just put that in a Ziploc bag. Hold on. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Were you in lunch when I beat Brendan so bad that they had, they made him sit by himself and in, in when I rap battled him? <laughs> Was I in the lunch period at that point? Yeah. Um, I don't, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think I so? Know. I kind of remember it happening, but I don't oh. know if I was there. All right, oh. but I was a rapper in middle school, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, bye. <laughs> Enjoy. Listen up. About to drop some knowledge on you. This might sound a little bold. What? Everybody worried about getting mowed. Once you all finish what you eating? Saran wrap come out and people start freaking. Bologna, cannoli, pepperoni, macaroni. Put it in the fridge and make it fit. Uh huh. It's tough to admit. Saran wrap ain't shit. Ain't shit. Saran wrap ain't shit. Stop being drastic. It's just a piece of plastic. Your food be a hype. You can leave it overnight. Blah, blah. The food looks the same as if you didn't use it. So free up your counter space and choose to lose it. Bologna, cannoli, pepperoni, macaroni Put it in the fridge and make it fit Uh huh It's tough to admit Saran wrap ain't shit Ain't shit Saran wrap ain't shit Ha ha This is actually Kathleen's idea She wanted to do I feel like everyone kind of has a version of this joke This Ancestry.com joke But this was my wife's version of the joke And we I think it was executed pretty well I'm not It's good yeah. I like it. Uh, here's a commercial. Hi, I'm Carl Hoffman, founder and CEO of Incestor.com. It started off as a gag, but there are a lot of messed up people out there. I just thought it'd be cool to like meet my grandmother. I, didn't... I found out I'm adopted, so this was just regular sex. So check us out at Incestry.com. This site sucks. I'm not f***ing a redhead. 
is Ancestry.com is not the same thing as 23andMe, right? No, it was like a predecessor. To yeah, it. it's like you figure out your family tree. And I think it's like similar, it just doesn't... 23andMe like examines your DNA. Yeah, it's like personal. Yeah, Ancestry just like looks at your uh, family tree. Did she do it? We've done 23andMe. Here's a public service announcement from Mike Calcagno and Jeff Vasquez. Hey everybody, Jeff and Mike here. Obviously our country's separated. Every day it's black versus white and we think skin color shouldn't divide people. Most white people aren't racist and most black people aren't thugs, but unfortunately you never see that side and uh, we're here to change that. I, a white man, and Jeff, a black man, if we can get along, why can't you guys? Hold on, hold on. I'm Dominican. You know, a Hispanic. Yeah, I, I, I know what Dominican is. When the fuck are you going to tell me this, Jeff? I got the camera set up here. Yeah, I thought you knew. No, I hate Dominicans. He looks exactly like Easy. e Yeah, it's, it's really... Uh... Like, exactly. It's time for a recurring segment. Here is Tales from the HOV. But I really mean that. I would, I would hang out. I would, I would be friends with Abby outside of stand-up. Yeah. Because she's just cool as fuck. I'd like to think that I am friends with her outside of stand-up. True, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, if I quit comedy tomorrow, which fingers crossed, <laughs> uh, I would, I would try to, like, still hang out. I would literally never see you again. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I, I think I'd lose your number totally. <laughs> what else, What would we do? Me and you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe go to a concert? <laughs> no way, right? <laughs> what concert? I don't know. Bob Dylan or something? Porcupine tree? Yeah. <laughs> I bet if I quit comedy and I posted it on Facebook, you wouldn't even like the status. <laughs> this week, Sofa Kings Live went to Patchog. And uh, here's this week's feature comedian, Abby Washuda. Abby Dashuda Washuda. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Guys, I'm going through a divorce. Get out of a 15-year marriage. Aww. I know, I know. If you ask my ex, he would tell you that the reason we ended it is because I have an ego problem. <laughs> right? But I was like, um, that's not what my fans are telling me. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean that one tweet about it? It's like, I think I would have heard. <laughs> to be fair, after all that time together, I just realized that we fundamentally disagreed about important stuff, right? Like it turned out he wanted five or maybe even six children. Huh? Okay? Huh. And I wanted maybe one orgasm. <laughs> I was like, how do you come to an agreement about it? <laughs> we couldn't. I had to go. That's cool. Uh... I have a boyfriend now, which is new. Um, you guys just don't know him because he goes to a different school. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where I usually do a, a dick pic joke but it doesn't feel right in the space. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it. And uh, as you can tell from my outfit, I'm from New Jersey originally. Uh, if you guys stay to the end of the show, uh, Neil and Mike are actually, for the finale, they're going to just jump through a flaming pair of my earrings. <laughs> uh, I actually tell people that I'm from New Jersey, and I don't say that I'm from like 20 minutes outside the city. Right? Because where the fuck is that exactly? <laughs> New York City is the only place that people want so badly to be associated with that people have to tell you. It doesn't matter how tenuous the connection, right? It's like, oh yeah, I'm from 20 minutes outside the city. I'm from two hours outside the city. I'm from 3,000 miles outside the city, California. Maybe you heard of it. No one does that with any other place. No one tells you they're from 20 minutes outside of Nevada. Where? Mexico? Is that what you mean? Where is that? And uh, I'm Italian-American from New Jersey, which uh, means essentially uh, no one in my family has spoken a word of Italian in four generations. <laughs> right, we're quick to jump down your throat if you pronounce the Kokots incorrectly. <laughs> my brother's like, it's the mozzarella. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> no. Like, you couldn't even find Italy on a map, could you? He's like, it's the boot one. It's the boot one. I know. Don't fucking. I know. Don't test me. <laughs> it's weird too because we're also half Irish or whatever. Woo! Yeah. Are you guys too? Yeah. yeah. Lots of people in here, I bet. 
And like, you know, we're about as Irish as we are Italian. And my mom cooks like lots of Irish food. But my brother's never called me and been like, yeah, you coming down the Mars? We're going to have corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> it's going to be delightful, right? <laughs> we never do that. And then also, because you're Italian-American, it doesn't matter like what exactly their job is, but no matter what, all the dudes in my family imagine that they're like low-level gangsters out of some kind of like the Nero movie. You know? Like, I went to dinner with my uncle, and the waitress or the hostess is seating us, and he's like, yeah, we want to sit in the back with our backs to the wall and our eyes forward. That's what we want to do. I was like, Uncle Tony, you're a fucking insurance broker. <laughs> what are you so worried about? He's like, no, one time, I gave a guy a bad premium, he came at me. You know what I mean? He came at me. Now I sleep with three eyes open. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. That's how all the men are in my family. My father, uh, he actually, he died of cancer a few years ago, but he was like two Jersey Italian. You know what I mean? He didn't have time for cancer. You know what I mean? He just didn't. And uh, he was such a pain in the ass about it. You know what I mean? He really was. So uh, I did that in the eulogy. It didn't go over that well, that joke. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I did do jokes in the eulogy. You know what I mean? Because I'm a new comic and all stage time is good stage time. So. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad, like, uh, I remember the first day trying to get him to go, his first day of chemotherapy. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go, let's get going. And he goes, uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I can't go today. I said, what, we, we're not doing it. What do you mean, we're in a hospital, you're in a wheelchair, you're in a hospital gown, you have a, you have a better option, you have another, you got a better offer? What, what do you do? He's like, not today, you know what, I'm not doing it. I'm not today, call the doctor, I'm not going. I was like, what, what do you mean you're not going? What you? He's like, you know, Ab, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now, okay? I'm not feeling very well. Okay. I said, yeah, you have cancer. <laughs> That's one of the symptoms of cancer, right? If you Google it, right? WebMD, right at the top, cancer, not feeling very well. <laughs> right at the top of the cancer symptoms. I was like, what's the matter with you? That's the whole point is where we're going to go. I said, what would that phone call even sound like? He'd be like, yeah, Doc, it's Steve. Listen, I can't with the chemo today. I can't, uh, you know what? I can't. Yeah, I got a lot of my plate, I got a lot of balls in the air, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I, I don't know if you I'm dealing with cancer here. I got a lot going on. <laughs> How about this? I'll work out the cancer thing, I'll call you about the chemo. How about that? We'll do that. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Dad, for the jokes. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Have you ever noticed that, that you have to, if you talk to dead people in public, you have to look up like that? That's a very important little thing, right? Because it's just... It's just a simple, like, 45-degree angle, but it's, like, all the difference, right? Because, like, if you're looking up, it's like, oh, like, Dad, thanks for the jokes. I miss you, right? But then if you do the same thing, and you're just 45 degrees down, like, Dad, thanks for the jokes. I miss you. And it's like, oh, that's kind of sweet. And it's like, oh, that's schizophrenia. That's it. <laughs> I should be <he's> here. <laughs> thanks for watching. At Mike underscore Cags. On the Instagrams and Twitter, Sam, same yeah. handle. Same handle. I do it. I'm simple. Yes, you are. You're same. Me handle. too. Yeah. yeah, Neil Rubenstein. Good. Just at Neil Rubenstein anywhere you look. It's his name. That's my name. You can even spell it Neil Rubenstein. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Repost, share, comment, like, subscribe. All those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Comment positive. Yeah. Don't be a jerk off. Actually, don't comment. Yeah, don't comment. Don't comment. Uh, don't reshare, actually. No, no, share. Share. Yeah, subscribe. Share. Share and subscribe. Those are the key ingredients to yeah. this whole garbage. Really, everyone. Everyone's got to share it. Share. Tell your mom. I already I'll, I'll fucked tell her. Your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unusable, right? I don't know.